How's she going, my son? And welcome back to Undertale. I had to cut in the middle of a boss fight. As you can see, and I'm also a little winded again. Apologies. Whew. All right. Yeah, four flights of stairs doesn't seem like a lot, but when you beat it up real quick, it tends to catch up with you. So, greater dog. Greater doge, if you will. How do we deal with this guy? Play, beckon, pet, ignore. So excited that it thinks fighting is just play. Oh. Okay, that's tricky. Okay, he's a dog. <laughs> okay. This seems pretty easy. Aww. <laughs> and it wakes up! It's so excited! Oh no, stay still. <laughs> Patting the ground with its front paws. Ah. Uh... You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It, splat it splats on the ground. Gritter picks up all the snow in the air and brings it to you. No dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. <laughs> this is such a silly boss fight. I love it. The dog wants some TLC. If you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Oh no! Oh no! My actual care, my my movement in the bullet hole section is slow. Pet capacity is at forty percent. <laughs> Keep petting him. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches one hundred percent. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. <laughs> oh my god! This fight is amazing. Greater dog is contented. Attic. That a boy. <laughs> Aw. Oh. <laughs> get in it right. <laughs> so I guess it's like a mech suit or something? Oh, I'm gonna double back and s or although I don't know, there might be a save point after this. Actually, get my mouse off screen. I apologize. Get off screen. Yeah, off screen, please. <laughs> it keeps pulling back. There we go. Uh, I apologize I, for the first two episodes I didn't notice my uh, cursor was on screen because I didn't think the game would pick it up at all because it's just keyboard for controls, right? Oh, okay. I think I know what's about to happen, because I believe this is one of the store page cutscene, like, spoiler chummies. Yeah, this is it. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold! The Gauntlet of Deadly Terror! <laughs> I love that fire. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because... I. Am. About. To do it! Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm... I'm about to activate it now! <laughs> the dog. <laughs> that, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, maybe, too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Anyway, away it goes. <laughs> Phew. He likes me. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Freaking dog on the string. That's the part that cracks me up the most. Because he looks so happy to be there. <laughs> I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Yeah, that's the ones you gotta... The ones you have to dodge by doing nothing. Neutral chin. Welcome to Snowed In. Okay, this is like total Earthbound sign, by the way. <laughs> hey, save point. Fills you with determination. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't think there was actually like a proper shop system in this. Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but... 
If I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Uh, manly bandana. It has abs on it. Bicycle. Oh, it's an... Oh, I get it. Eat it twice. Cinnamon bun. It's my own recipe. I'm gonna buy a couple of these. Uh, I already have the glove. I guess the armor would still be useful, even if I'm pacifist run through. Yeah, because I'm still taking damage. Hiya! Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where do you come from? The capital. You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What to do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillby's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down for f that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles, day after day. That's life, ain't it? True. Bye now. Come again sometime. Okay, so there's actually like a genuine RPG type elements to this. Manly bandana. Now I'm really confused because I was wearing a ribbon a second ago. <laughs> like inherent. Uh, put the stick away, I guess. The inherent uh, gender ambiguity of our character. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's well, maximum HP? <laughs> Little kid just oh, barely over the counter. That's so adorable. Welcome to Snowden. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80G. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. <laughs> oh my god, the snoring. <laughs> What the heck was that? You were only up there for about two minutes. <laughs> Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Ah, it's free! Nice. Oh, so I have 30 out of 20 now. Nice. That's not bad. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Eh. Wait, I'm confused. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee. So they're like some kind of like demi bunny, while the bunny humanoids are the real bunnies? Interesting. That lady over there, something about her disturbs me. <laughs> Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Aww, that's cute. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. That is true. <laughs> this town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will, tro will tell a fish lady about it. Eh, it's politics. <laughs> oh my. This is a... Yeah, this is a bar. Holy crap, what the hell are you? Can I talk to you? Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. 
No matter where I go, it's the same menu. Same people. Help! I want new drinks and... Hot guys! Oh, that's a woman. <laughs> you better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. <laughs> the big... The greater dog. Wait, is he... Is he wearing, like, fishnets? I think this guy's wearing fishnets. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. <laughs> Is that him burping? I think it was him burping. <laughs> it's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. <laughs> well, there's cards under the table. His other self must be cheating. <laughs> I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. <laughs> I'm literally going to make out with a fish. <laughs> well, I mean, y you are you a fish? I think you're a duck, actually, but it kind of makes sense either way. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Grillsby said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. <laughs> the capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city suckers slip into the slip onto their butts. Drip box is broken. Wait, then what's playing? <laughs> I still want to know what the heck this guy is. Aww, look at all the layers of scarf. <laughs> oh god, it's like a little mouse person. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Aww. That is a card-carrying wooby right there. <laughs> Needs a hug. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? You got a point. The library. What? Why is it spelled wrong? <laughs> Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. <laughs> oh, okay. Just a gag. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? <laughs> oh, the game remembered. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. That's not bad. <laughs> when I was younger. My teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. I was trying to make it sound like I had like a coffer throat there. <laughs> Not very good. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. <laughs> when monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. <laughs> While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Hmm. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like horse. Is that a rhino? I think it's a rhino, missus. <laughs> because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital. New home. Again, our game is really bad at names. <laughs> yes! Oh, I love a good running gag. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. True. That's kind of deep. Whoa! Somebody has not answered their mail in a while. The mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. <laughs> yep. His mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Oh! <laughs> that's Sans, because he doesn't bother. I get it. It's empty. Aw. Hmm. Whoa! Okay.
Okay, so this is literally just like a town skip thing. Okay. I thought it'd be like a little extra section underneath. Also, again, I'm getting a huge Earthbound vibe from this town. I mean, Earthbound had people, but like, these like ridiculous looking monster characters, like, they look like Earthbound enemies, but like, they're the NPCs. Let's play Monsters and Humans. Wait, is that like a slime? That's a little slime. Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? <laughs> ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. My patience rewards me. <laughs> okay. Somebody really likes my knocking, apparently. he doing? <laughs> okay. Not sure what the point of that whole exercise is, but it looks amusing. Oh, hello. Hello, can I speak to G... Wait a second. Is this the wrong... Oh my god, it's the fish calling the dude who put the line in. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh my god, I love this game. <laughs> this game is like... It gives its like perfect balance of like heart-rending like trauma. At least as much as I've played so far. It gives it like heart-rending trauma with like absolute gut-busting laughter. Like, holy crap. Oh, there's the ice cubes from earlier. Oh, it's gotten spoopy and foggy. Ugh. Oh, I can't see where I'm going. Oh, hello. <laughs> Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not! You shall be lonely no longer! I, the Great Papyrus, who will be your... No. No! This is all wrong! I can't be your friend! You are a human! I must capture you! Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream! Powerful, popular, prestigious! That's Papyrus! And that's alliteration. <laughs> the newest member of the Royal Guard! Oh, I was kind of hoping his music would be something different. I mean, it fits him, because it is his theme, and, like, his brother's theme, too. But, uh... Although, I don't, I don't actually, I don't know if Sans has this music specifically. I'd have to double-check. Also, that pose... That's suggesting things. <laughs> He likes to say, yeah, yeah, there you go. Uh, okay, bones. Trying hard to play it cool. Well, I only have two options, so, I mean, that's not gonna work. That's just gonna piss him off. What? F flirting So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings? Well, well, I am a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all my standards! <laughs> I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later, after I capture you! <laughs> He's not very effective in a fight, is he? Hard to wear for his date. Oh no! Is this a... Is this a boner joke? I don't, I don't know, I think this game's above that. Wait, so do I have to attack him now? Wait, what ear? Hands off the keyboard. Hands off the keyboard. Ah! What the? Oh no!
Oh my god, this- Oh, this is awesome. Now this is the fight, right? Oh, I like this. Oh god, now it's a platformer! <laughs> or like a running- it's a, like a runner, I think is what it's called. Oh god. And Bishi Cream. <laughs> oh god, this got this got really intense. Oh man. Oh, okay. oh god. All the all the clinch. What do I do now, though? Don't make me use my special attack. Okay, I've still got more than my maximum health, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, man, how do I solve this? Again, this is a puzzle, basically, but I don't want to hit him. Do I? I might have to. Let's see what happens. Oh. Man, I might have to actually... I think I actually have to fight him! But like... Oh, okay, stand still. No. Ah! Cheeky little bugger! <laughs> he throws one little one! Oh man, I, I, I think I have to... Oh! Ah! Uh, this got intense all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, oh, oh crap, got hit. Realizes <laughs> he doesn't have ears. About time. Oh, yeah. Undyne will be really proud of me. Okay, we're good. Whew. The head in the shape of my smile. It is a nice smile. Ow, crap. Ah, oh, I forgot. I, I was hitting Z to jump for a second there, guys. Yeah. <laughs> my brother will. Well, he won't change very much. <laughs> no, I don't think he will. Sans is pretty set in his way. He's, I think. <laughs> ah! Gotta really mash it. So this is actually really surprising that the game still forces you into combat, even though I'm being a pacifist. Maybe it's because my heart is blue now? Might be it. It might be like the Q. Although I don't. This might be just specific to him, though. Oh, that doesn't hurt me directly. It's just if it hits me against the wall, probably. Ah! Oh, gotcha. Whoa. Ah. Uh -huh. Whoa. <laughs> Sheesh. Again, love this music. Actually, I love this music in this game in general. Don't move. Oh no! I was moving! Ah, shit. Okay, this turn has to be. Oh, no, no. Prepares a non-bone attack and spends a minute fixing his mistake. Ugh, who cares? Give up. Ah! Oh, these ones are hard.
if that's the one that turns me back to being red, I'd appreciate it, actually. Ah. Uh yeah. -huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh, crap. Oh, man, I gotta... Ow. Ah, damn it. I imagine if you were, like, partially combat, like, neutral path, I guess, instead of, like, pure pacifist, this would be a little easier, because you'd actually have some... You'd have a bit of attack power behind your fight. Ah! My special attack! Hey! You stupid dog! You hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey! What are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! <laughs> oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack! Ah! <sighs> Here's an absolutely normal attack! Ah! Normal attacks are kicking the shit out of me, so don't be too upset. Whoa, yeah. I'm actually moving in my chair trying to dodge these actively, by the way. <laughs> ah, oof. ah, the dog. <laughs> cool. Dude. <laughs> what the hell? One little bone. <laughs> Holy crap, this game's hilarious. Well, oh, it's clear you can't oh, defeat me. Yeah, I see you shaking in your boots. Therefore I, the great papyrus, would like to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. Boop. There we go. Yay! Well, that was a hell of a fight. <laughs> No, -ho -ho. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Where are we? We haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. <laughs> Oh my god, apologies for any super loud audio issues with my laughing, but... Oh, this game. <laughs> this game. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? <laughs> you taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the service. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass. Through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is. Well. He's a big fuzzy pushover. <laughs> Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Demir, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> well, that was certainly an interesting turn of events. I was honestly thinking the fight was going to be like a gag fight. Or like, you know, you kind of disarm him just by talking to him like everything else. But then all of a sudden, <laughs> you know, it turns into kind of like an actual boss fight. I was really impressed. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. <laughs> My house! <laughs> Somebody's 
blazing it up there, apparently. Ooh, it's my favorite game show! It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. That's actually a quantum physics joke, which is amazing. Oh. I don't have to censor anything. I don't think so with a game like this, though. <laughs> he, has a, he has a car bed. <laughs> hey, where's all the attacks I used on you? Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it was basically just happened. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. <laughs> Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for the theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Santa! <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> well, you're half right. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. <laughs> oh. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. <laughs> of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has been troll has besieged my online persona. Always spending sending me bad puns in a goofy font. <laughs> it's his brother. <laughs> oh my goodness. There are no skeletons in my closet. Except me sometimes. <laughs> Look in the closet? Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. <laughs> so, um if you've seen everything. Do you want to start the date? This one's going a little long, but uh, this sequence is too funny not to do. <laughs> Ah, uh, so let's do it. <laughs> I've never actually done this before. Oh, don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. It's like an official dating rule book from the library. <laughs> oh my god. I love how this game looks like so dated. And like the battle scenes are all these like single colored sprites. Yet they're so well done that they look modern. I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Pardon my French, but what the actual hell? Hey, the great virus. We'll go on a date with you. Yes. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> he, got, he went full anime on us, guys. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. But no, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. You know what? I think we're too far into the rabbit hole to say no at this moment. <laughs> oh, the 
we broke him. No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power! <laughs> Date power. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you've bested me yet! The Great Papyrus! I've never been beaten at dating! And I never will! I can easily keep up with you! You see, I too can wear clothing! In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes! Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date! Behold! Oh my god! He's like right out of the 90s! <laughs> I love it! A genuine compliment! <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Uh... Um... <laughs> wow. <laughs> but who doesn't? <laughs> He's got a point. Didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. My hat! My hat! Yeah. Well then, you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice! It's a present! A present just for you! Open it! Do you know what this is? Of course! Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh so wrong! Is it any plain old pasta? This is an artisan's work! Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask! Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus! Human! It's time to end this! There's no way this can go any further! Eat it! You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking! And by extension, me! <laughs> Maybe even more than I do! Ark! Ark! No! <laughs> it broke the meter, guys! Oh my god! <laughs> Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. Time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um... Boy, is it hot in here? Or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No! Wait! That's wrong! I can't fail at anything! Human! I'll help you through these trying times! I'll keep being your cool friend! And act like this all never happened! After all, you are very great! It would be tragic to lose your friendship! So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you! Because I don't even have lips! <laughs> and hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me! Well, no, that's not true! But I'll help you settle for second best! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, this whole sequence. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> well. This is, um... <laughs> I don't know what to say. Other than that was one of the freaking most hilarious things I've ever seen. It continues to prove that this game is amazing. Um... That's the longest I've done the Papyrus voice, so I'm sorry if I wibble wobbled a little bit in what it was. And, um, oh, my throat's actually a little sore doing that, so I have laundry to pick up, or I will in a bit anyway, so I'll take a break, do this uh, after this recording. Uh, subscribe will be the same point as is normally usual when we don't stop in the middle of a boss fight with a giant Pomeranian. Um, Twitter is in the description as usual, and not much to say other than this game continues to surprise me, and I freaking love it.
So if you are commenting, don't spoil anything, because I want to continue to be surprised and share it with you guys. Because like I said, back in the day when, you know, you used to be going to a store to buy a game and get a physical copy, and then, you, you know, you went out with a buddy and you bought it for the first time and all that, sharing in a, a new game experience with somebody is just something really unique that gamers can do, right? And it's something I want to do with you guys that watch, and, well, in posterity, future people who watch. You know, greetings from the past. Do you have flying cars yet? That'd be great. Anyway, I'm rambling, so, uh, ciao. Although I should say first just to be careful. Just to be careful. Oh, I actually hadn't saved. That'd be bad. Although, again, I would have loved to have done the sequence again. But it might have been different, right? I wouldn't, I'd want to record that. Uh, anyway, ciao.